Hey guys, Mike Taylor, broker owner, Red Door Property Manager. Super excited to bring you the Indianapolis rental market report for June of 2023. So we are in full swing for leasing season and it is wild out there what's going on in terms of the numbers. So some markets are on a tear and some markets are lagging behind. Indianapolis is experiencing a little bit of difficulties right now, specifically the Indianapolis market. Some of the other sub markets are really great markets right now. So be sure to check out our other videos this month. This month we will do Fishers, we will do Westfield, we will do Noblesville and uh, Avon uh, video for this month. So some of those markets are absolutely on a tear. So be sure to check out those other other market reports that we do. And without further ado, let's take a look at the market, or the uh, the numbers for Indianapolis. Okay, guys, let's take a look at the numbers for the Indianapolis market report uh, for June of 2023. So if uh, we take a look at the uh, number of active homes in the market, we're closing in on 2000. That's uh, relatively high, but not uh, anything crazy. It's uh, about a, about the same as last month, but um, a couple hundred more than uh, than the month before. But we are in June, kind of the height of the leasing season. So kind of to be expected. Nothing too, too uh, alarming there. Um, average rent, if we jump down to the, the bottom left here, average rent is at 1395. Okay. And that is uh, down slightly from last month and then down uh, a little bit more slightly, it's about 4% from last year. So if you look in the, uh, the pricing uh, trend here over time, uh, this has pretty, uh, all, pretty much all year been below last year's number. So this the, kind of the, the bright red one is 2022, this is 2023, but we're looking at here, and kind of see into the future that um, it's going to look like it's going to stay the same uh, for uh, for July. It's trending that way, um, trending that way anyway. Um, so uh, that is pretty unique in um, in the other markets that we cover. So that most other markets are you're seeing that it's, it's over last year for most of these months. Indianapolis seems to be uh, definitely corrected from last year, from the height of last year, August of last year. And then um, at least it's it's maintaining it here. So that that's the good news. The bad news is this average days on the market is way out of control. Like 124 is crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, and you know we should see that like 30 or under. And most other markets, we are seeing that. Um, so this is super concerning to me. This this 124 days on the market. So um, I mean that is up 350 percent from June of 2022. It's up 50 percent from last year. So what that tells me is that we might see um, we might see some price decreases because if, if people are having their homes still in the market for gosh almost four months, typically what you're going to see follow is is some price decreases. So I would not be surprised to see if July and August numbers. Um, we start to see uh, that average rent go down uh, a little bit as people try to uh, kind of compete for the renters that are out there and uh, drive their vacancy down. So this is definitely a number that we have to keep track of because that is shocking, shocking. And if you are sitting on a vacant home right now or have a home coming up for renewal, I would certainly take that into consideration. Uh, when I was pricing my home, um, I might... Uh, I would suggest that you get pretty aggressive this year, um, even if uh, even if it means taking you know 100 bucks or 50 bucks or maybe even 200 bucks, depending on on the price range of your home, uh, off to attract a renter. Um, because I, as a homeowner, would not want to see 124 days of at all. So I'm going to do everything in my power to avoid that. And you know, something just to think about is you know if you had to. Let's say you have a home, and let's say the average home was 1395. Uh, you um, times that by four, 1395 times four, uh, because that's going to be your vacancy. That's 5580. And if you spread that out over the course of a 12 month lease, it's $465 that, um, that you could potentially play with in terms of a price reduction to kind of like break even. So if you could fill the vacancy immediately um, versus filling it in, four months, that's the difference of $465 a month. So, you know, if you had to take a hundred bucks off your rent to uh, reduce that vacancy to under 30 days, I would certainly think that that would be worth um, thinking about. Um, and then uh, kind of to end on a, on a positive note, the other, the other good thing is that the average sales price is still a very, very affordable 243,996. Now that is, we did cap that at uh, homes under 500,000, just to kind of look at it from more of an investor point of view. So, um, but, Homes under five hundred thousand, the average is two forty three nine ninety six. That's a really really low. I mean, 
especially compared to other areas in the nation nationwide that is an extremely extremely affordable home and it's not like there's just a couple of those hanging around in june um 1184 of those sold um uh, under 500,000. So there's definitely homes to be to be bought, um, but got to be mindful of those average days on the market uh, and make sure that that vacancy doesn't eat you up. So the uh, the average sales price is uh, up slightly from June of 2022 and up slightly from June of 2020. It's pretty consistent with what we're seeing. The inventory is still pretty tight and homes that are priced right uh, and in good condition are selling quickly. So um, it doesn't look like home prices are going to go down anytime soon. They're not going to go like they were last year and go crazy 20%. But I think prices are only going up due to constricted inventory. So that's the uh, that's the market report for Indianapolis. Big news is average days on the market. Must keep an eye on that.